four peeps. Why am I holding four up? Because Ole Miss added four additions today. Man, whoo, it's been a busy day down in Oxford, Mississippi. It's been a busy weekend down in Oxford. Ole Miss has got five additions this weekend. Yesterday, had one from the Florida Gators announced he's transferring, Mr. Princely. And then today, we have four guys announced to coming to Ole Miss. You know, this afternoon, we got the news of the two Tennessee Volunteer transfers, Mr. McDonald and Mr. Barron coming to Ole Miss. And then later on tonight, got the news of two 2024 high school kids coming to Ole Miss next year. The first guy announced, I think it was right after 4.30, maybe close to 5, but that is uh, QB Anthony Maddox Jr. The kid actually from Mississippi, uh, actually played high school ball down in Hedgesburg, played high school ball at Oak Grove High School. Uh, one story short, been committed to Texas A&M for quite a while. Uh, recently, they committed from A&M. Uh, the kid is 6'2", weighs 180. As far as rankings, now some websites have Maddox as a three-star QB. Some websites have Maddox as a four-star QB. Each website kind of different. Uh, but according to 247 Sports, they have him as a four-star, uh, number 425 nationally player in the country, number 27 quarterback in the country, uh, number 13 player in the SIP, class of 2024. As far as watching uh, film, kind of like a scouting report on Mr. Maddox, I will say this. The first thing I noticed watching the film, the kid has a freaking canyon. The kid can chunk the ball 70 yards down the field. Just go watch his highlights. Watch his tape. The kid throwing bombs down the field all the time. And the kid not overthrowing, not underthrowing. The kid's money on the spot. It's fun watching this kid throw bombs down the field. Be a deputy arm strength. Throwing the ball 70 plus yards down the field. That is definitely a huge strength for Mr. Maddox for sure. But also, the kid has a pretty quick, you know, pretty quick release as well, too. You know, some QBs out there, some of them just take too much time throwing the ball, releasing the ball. Some guys do too much arm motion and technique and just too much stuff, just wasting too much time. Maddox is one of those guys, kind of like Matt Corral. You know, Matt Corral is one of those guys, you know, Corral wasn't slow. Corral had that quick release. Does it waste time? Matt, it's the same way too. Just one of those guys just chucking the ball, releasing it quick. Doesn't waste any time at all. I mean, as a fan, uh, you know, even coaches as well too. That's one of the things they look for in a QB. You know, we don't want a QB as, you know, trying to look all fancy and trying to look all neat in his motion. No, hurry up. Release the ball, man. Some QBs just take too much time, too much technique. Get the ball out of your hands, man. Maddox, that's what he does. That's what I love. Crook Louise doesn't waste any time. Uh, but yeah, velocity, pretty good as well, too. But also, hey, pretty good uh, running QB as well, too. Now, in high school, the kid had many design runs, uh, a bunch of option plays as well, too. The kid, super, super fast. Not many kids out there can outrun Mr. Maddox, but definitely quickness. It's a week, peeps. A week for sure. But as far as Maddox, uh, I mean, the kid needs to put on some more weight. needs to add some more strength. Put this kid in the weight room is one of the things, that, you know, coaches want to do with Maddox for sure. I mean, as far as Ole Miss is, you know, quarterback situation, as, you know, as of right now, you know, Coach Kiffin announced, you know, a couple weeks ago that Dart was coming back. I know Dart hasn't made, like, an uh, official post or an official announcement just yet. Uh, but rumor is he's coming back next year. You know, uh, Spencer Sanders graduated. He can't come back. But, you know, you still have Walker Howard. You still have Austin Simmons. I mean, just being honest with you, you know, 2024 Maddox, Probably gonna be your four string QB, if not farther down the depth chart. And that's just being real and just keeping it honest. Uh, you know, I, I think it's gonna be 
two years, maybe three years until Maddox even has a shot at competing or maybe the backup position, just to be honest with you. I'm one of those guys, I kind of hate to say this, but this is just my honest, honest, and honest opinion. So, like, I know sometimes, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be real. You know, this is stuff behind the scenes you guys don't always see. There are some times that, yeah, players will find your video. There are some times the family will find your video. And sometimes they will leave comments on your video disagreeing with you. Sometimes they will find your email or sometimes they will find another way to contact you and attack you. And if they attack me or if somebody else attacks me, that's okay. This is kind of part of if you post videos and if you put yourself out there, it's going to happen for you eventually down the road. But I hate to say this, but I just don't see Maddox ever playing at all Miss. And that's just being real. I mean, the kids still are pretty good QB, you know, but. I mean, Ole Miss, you know, as of right now, you know, one of the best talented QB rooms in the country. You know, here in a couple of years, Ole Miss could pick up another transfer. You know, you're kind of thinking, you know, Walker Howard or Austin Simmons could be a starter in a couple of years as well, too. I just don't see Maddox ever starting. You know, maybe the backup position, maybe here in two years, maybe three years down the road, but I just don't see Maddox ever starting. I mean, that's just being real. I hate to say it, but that's just my honest thoughts and honest opinions about Maddox. But anyway, you know, Coach Kiffin, I've kind of noticed since he's been here at Ole Miss, uh, usually each year, Kiffin picks up a QB uh, every year in the portal or a commitment. That's just how Coach, that's just how Coach Wayne Kiffin is. That's what I've kind of noticed. Wayne is one of those guys, he thinks he needs a QB every year. So, you know, just in case of injuries, you still have another pretty good option here with Maddox, but I just don't see him ever playing here at Ole Miss, just to be honest with you. Uh, and then moving on tonight, got the news of another guy, class of 2024, come to Ole Miss, and that is, uh, I do apologize, maybe uh, not pronounce the name correctly. That is a huge weakness, a huge problem of mine. I am horrible pronouncing names, but I think the kid's name is pronounced Kevion Fazard. Um, offensive tackle from Louisiana, actually from Zachary, Louisiana. Uh, being the kid, pretty, pretty tall, uh, pretty good size, well too, six foot six, weighs two eighty, uh, three star offensive tackle. As far as rankings, I will say this now. Uh, you look at the rankings, the rankings were not the best. And according to 247 Sports, I had this kid as number six, yeah, 650 at the best part in the country. Um, offensive tackle, 52nd offensive tackle in the country. 18th best player in Louisiana, class of 2024. But this kid has a bunch of offers, a uh, bunch, of, you know, bunch of schools interested in Bizarre. Many fans, I think many coaches are kind of thinking that this kid should be ranked higher than what he is. Of course, you know, the people putting out the rankings are just people's opinions, but it definitely seems like a bunch of coaches for sure are thinking this kid is better than what his rankings show. Um, but yeah, Mr. Bazaar, you know, six foot six, weighs 280, kind of a scouting report on him. The kid has always been like the tallest guy, the biggest guy on the field. The past couple of years of him playing left tackle in high school. The kid has just been a bully on the field, man. The kid just pushing down the fenders, a uh, bunch of pancakes, just knocking. I mean, he's just knocking guys down, man. And look, I, I love watching stuff like that. I love them offensive tackles, just boom, just pancaking, knocking down those defensive tackles, defensive linemen, linebackers, blitzing, safeties, blitzing, whoever. I, I love pancakes from the offensive lineman. I really do. But yeah, the kid, a bunch of pancakes in, the, in his high school career for sure. Be a mess of frame, a uh, huge length. Um, moves very, very smooth as well, too. Another thing I just kind of wrote down for the sky report. Uh, moves pretty quick for a guy that's six foot six, was 280. Uh, but also, as well, too, I will say this. Now, 
Bizarre is one of those kids that can still, you know, still get a little faster, can still put on some more weight if you wanted to. Uh, definitely strength, another thing you still want to see him improve on for sure. But the potential, is it's definitely there for sure. Many other coaches see this kid improving a lot for sure. There's a chance Ole Miss may have a hidden gem with this pickup for sure. But yeah, left tackle is what Brazard's been playing the last couple of years. And I think, you know, I, I think many Ole Miss fans agree with this. You know, we don't see Brazard starting for us next year. I think backup could definitely be a pretty good shot for sure. Now, I will say this now. I think the kid has a shot playing right tackle too for us. Uh, I don't see this kid being moved to guard. There's a chance he could be moved to guard, but when you watch a film, watch the highlights, I mean, he reminds you of a straight up tackle. That's what he reminds you of. Uh, but yeah, there, I think there's a, ch there's definitely a chance could be moved down the road to right tackle maybe. But I definitely see why many coaches recruit him as a left tackle. I definitely see it for sure, but but yeah, I think the kids will be uh, at least competing this year for the backup left tackle position. I do believe we'll get some or decent amount of playing time this year, uh, but I, I really do believe Ole Miss has got a hidden gem pickup with Mr. Brazard. I'm hollering the kid for sure. Some agree, some disagree with Bizarre, but I want to. I'm one of those fans. I'm pretty high on them. So anyway, yeah, if we combine these two commits together in one video, this video kind of longer than my average videos, but that's pretty much all I got for the videos. So whether hear y'all's thoughts and feedback as well too, but that's pretty much all I got. So thanks for watching. If you could, please go like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be appreciated. See you guys this video. Have a good one. Howdy tidy.